the top team in the country here at the XL Center to host Xavier in front of Husky Nation, who trekked through Sunday morning snow to watch UConn put a seven game winning streak on the line. The Huskies a week removed from their last game. That was a nail biter at Villanova. Tristan Newton balled out in that one. He posted a team high 25 points and with possession early on, looking to make something happen, lobs it for Donovan Klingon, flushes home the alley-oop. UConn up six zip and the Huskies with a stranglehold on the scoreboard out of the gate. Scoring from all over, Cam Spencer out to Steph Castle, nails a triple. Lots of open shots for UConn around the perimeter and everyone cashing in. Newton lets it fly, he gets one. UConn went on a 20 nothing scoring run in the first half. Here was a highlight during that stretch. Shot clock winding down, solo ball launches. Who says the bank is closed on Sunday? UConn would go into the locker room up 48 to 22 at halftime and you know triples are contagious when this happens early in the second half Donovan Klingon tees it up from straight on bullseye Klingon's first three pointer of the season he was 0 for 3 from distance prior you're not going to see many more of those Klingon finished with 18 points second only to Tristan Newton who posted 22 Four Huskies in double figures, an absolute runaway. UConn led by as many as 44 points in the game, the final almost as large a margin, 99 to 56 the final score. UConn defeats Xavier behind a season high 17 made three pointers, getting the job done in front of Jordan Hawkins. The Huskies have now won eight straight games. I didn't even know Jordan was coming to the game, so um, you know, seeing, Hawk was, uh, seeing Hawk was awesome. Keep free and Hawk. You know, coach said the same thing after the game. Um, you know, he said I knew we were going to make some threes because uh, you know Hawk was in the building today. But you know, you know this team is much different than last year's team. Just you know the type of guys. You know, we don't have a Jordan Hawkins, but you know we got a bunch of guys who can step. You know, who are you know, can't be like Cam Spencer. You know what I mean? Like he he can shoot the ball just as well. Yeah, obviously you don't expect to make 17 threes, um, but I I've just expected this team again with a healthy Donovan. You know, with a with a Spencer with a ball. Uh, with a caravan, with a T new, um, you know, obviously, you know, the the Donovan three. I'm still processing that. Um, I know that all you people are happy. A dominant win over a conference opponent. What better way to welcome back the 2004 National Championship team? Jim Calhoun, Emeka Okafor, Charlie Villanueva, and others honored at halftime of the game, celebrating 20 years since that second UConn men's basketball title. Uh, you just couldn't lose in front of uh, in, in front of that group, you know. And they all addressed the team in the locker room. That was obviously a special group of guys. And ben, you know, and and Demeca and you know Shad and all these guys were in there. Uh, CV and you know just uh, Big Ed Nelson and and they all had great things to say. You know, it was nice to be be able to hear what they had to say after the game. You know, um, you know they're they're a bunch of le legends and uh, you know they won a national championship. A lot of them went on and had you know great professional careers. So you know just to hear what they have to say and their perspective of everything, it was you know something good for you know me and all the young guys and people on this team. 20 years since that Huskies team took home the second of now five NCAA titles for UConn men's basketball. And look where the Huskies are now, reigning champs, number one in the nation, and eight straight victories heading into their next game. That's against Providence on Wednesday at Gamble Pavilion. Inside the XL Center, Jonah Carp, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.